I'm actually not surprised about nobody in this rose. This are all shady, and I was expecting it 100%. Kennedy, yes. congratulations. Yes. Second win. Yes. Oh, thank you. I won another one, honey. That's two. I feel fabulous. You yes. should. It was a class in how to just authentically do you yes. in a moment like that. It was so you masterclass. The it was amazing. I honestly Good. didn't know which one of you two were going to win. Because oh, you yeah. won. My <laughs> You two were perfection. Thank you. If anyone is ever going to beat me in a reading comedy challenge, I am so glad it's the Kennedy Davenport. And congratulations, Cheryl, on getting out of your head. Yes. Thank you. Congrats. And you yeah. look so tonight. Simple, but <laughs> I went from the bottom to the top. There won't be no flop this season for Cheryl. Last week was the fumble, but back in the top again. But like, yeah. I want to hear from you guys. Like, sis, how are you feeling? I am honestly really proud of myself. I think I you did should be. really good in the challenge. Like, it's unfortunate that like one of us had to be in the bottom. Otherwise, I think I would have been in the top. That being said, I don't want the beaver. I've had the beaver once, and I think if I'm to continue this competition, I need to prove myself in the lip sync tonight. You don't want the beaver? At all? We this have grown. Yes. You have grown in a whole week. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> Do you regret having the power and picking lemon? Honestly, no, because like this is a really strong group. It's just like unfortunate my anxiety got a bit of the best to me tonight, but I'm proud of my performance. You got me. You got some good jokes up in there. What about you, Alexis? I hold up myself against you fiercely. I did not have one negative critique, and to be honest, we were just so f sickening <laughs> like that. I honestly deserved it, period. Eureka, you're the only girl in the bottom who hasn't gotten the beaver yet. Do you feel like that should um, secure it for you tonight? I would appreciate the beaver. I think I would love to get some sort of break in this competition at this point, just because I just feel like I don't even know. I don't even know, y'all. I just know that I don't feel like myself. And the truth is, I have so much pressure on myself. Being sober is the hardest thing I've ever done. It's harder than the trans thing. And I keep trying to be like, oh, it's the hormones. But the truth is, it's like, I went through the hardest time of my life becoming sober, and it's so hard every day during this, like, pressure cooker to not want a weed gummy or to drink or something. And it just makes me so embarrassed of myself because I just hate that that's who I am. I don't think you should be embarrassed at all. You're an incredible entertainer. I feel like I'm very overwhelmed. I'm sober now, it's a different world. I have to feel all of my emotions. And once I start getting in my head, pushing the narrative that I'm not good enough, I slowly self-destruct. It's okay not to be okay. Let it out. You've got five people in this room rooting for you. I appreciate that because in the beginning of this competition, I just felt very alone. And it is just so hard for me to believe and trust that friendship and love, you guys, because I've been hurt so bad. I feel the exact same way you do in this competition right yeah. now. Like, it's been so emotionally draining for me and mentally every single week. But the one thing I'm really happy about is that I got, like, a relationship with you. Like, Thank I you. I love you so much. I hope you know And that. I don't want to lip sync against you because I don't want to send you home. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs>